Hey guys, what is up? This is Jake from Raven Tech here, and today we are going to be doing a vlog video. I wasn't really sure what to post, so I just decided to um, just film myself throughout the day, um, do random stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to film myself, and then I'm going to put this footage onto the editor, and then I am going to post the video on YouTube tomorrow and edit it tonight. So uh, basically at the end of the day I'm going to go through all the footage and yeah, edit it and post it and you guys will see it. So be sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and let's start the video. The first thing I wanted to show you guys was something that I recently made. Um, it was uh, kind of for Halloween but kind of because I actually do practice it. Um, for whatever reason, I have been drawn towards witchcraft because I've always been drawn towards weird, creepy, like, ghosts and, like, demons and hauntings and the supernatural. I've always been drawn to nature and everything like that, and I feel like... Um, I've been like particularly drawn to this particular subject. Um, the subject that I am talking about is witchcraft. It's not necessarily Wicca because there's a difference between that. Wicca is a religion while witchcraft is a practice and I felt more drawn towards the uh, practice because I am also Catholic as you guys can probably see over here we have my a rosary as, as you can see it's a rosary. And then we have the uh, other things, but I'm not like a devout Catholic or anything like that. I don't go to church. I should, but I don't. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the thing that I made. So basically, right here, I have made an altar, a witchcraft altar. And everyone that I've showed it to so far has said it looks very cool. As you guys can see, we got the uh, necklace right here, my Wicca necklace. Um, then we got, I got that right on the altar, and then we got our Day of the Dead stuff, because I am part Mexican as well, hence the Mexican flag, I'm one quarter Mexican, I'm also French, so that's why my face looks, um, kind of like messed up or ugly, I don't know, if you guys think that, I don't think that, I think I look awesome, but other people do, so you know what, I don't care, screw the haters, haters are actually secretly fans, like Shane Dawson said, you never know. <laughs> Alright, so, we got the pentagram that I made right here, and then we got pine cones on there. Basically, this is a setup for Samhain. We got our dead flowers. Well, they were alive before. I just kind of killed them on accident. But, we got our flowers right there, and then we got our tiki statue, which is the god statue, or goddess statue. Depending, I don't think it really has a gender, um... And it kind of looks like it has uh, bobs, you know, you know, bobs and the gun. <laughs> it kind of looks like it has, I don't know. But, I, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's a female statue. All right, so we got uh, our skull right here. And then we got our Pisces lighter because I am a Pisces zodiac. You know, that's the zodiac that's born through March, I mean, February, like, 20th through like, March something. Um, March 17th, I, I don't remember the exact dates, but that's something like the dates, but yeah, that's basically the Wiccan altar that I made, so, um, I got sage too, so, yeah, I apologize for my room being so messy, that's why I'm not showing you guys any of the stuff that's on that side, because on that side, we got like, um, well, you, you guys don't need to see it because it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. It's just a bunch of stuff that's all over the tables that you guys probably don't want to see. It's like cups and food and yeah, it's gross. I'm going to be fixing that. I've been dealing with like depression recently and I got recently put on Wellbutrin and Wellbutrin is obviously helping me right now as um because the you know five minute video that I have right now this five minute clip but I will see you guys at the next location that we're going to be going to I'm just randomly vlogging around going to random places I don't know what I'm doing today I'm just going to do something random because you know there's nothing to do in North Dakota so I'm just going to prove that there's nothing to do in North Dakota by going around and doing nothing well not nothing I'm going to be doing something but you know what, I'm just going to figure out what to do throughout the day. So, I will see you guys in a bit.
All right, guys. So as you can see over there is Wilkerson Dining Center, the new big building. And I know I've videoed this before, and I think it was the old building, but I don't think any of you saw it because I didn't post it to YouTube. So uh, I'm gonna post this one to YouTube this time. And then of course over there we got our um, Chester Fritz Auditorium. And then over there we got my smoke spot, you know, in the woods because the woods are awesome. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know what I'm talking about. All right, and then we got random person and other things that are around here that are pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you basically everything on the campus because nobody ever does vlogs of their campus. I don't know why, or at least this campus. Everybody's too bored. And everybody said that I couldn't be a member of Studio One because you know, apparently I'm not good at commentating. Well, here you go. Here's my commentating. Ha, huh. I beat you. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not even recording. I wasn't even recording. We got stairs. Look at the stairs. Yep, stairs. That's, that's the most interesting thing here, stairs. All right, so we're in the dining center right now. As you guys can see, we got the Fighting Hawks logo. We got outside, and I'm not being that interesting, but you know, this is North Dakota, and North Dakota's uninteresting, so I gotta make the most uninteresting video ever. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage of the campus but i just wanted to show you guys one more thing the coolie i know it's not that interesting the coolie is stinky and gross but you know i sacrificed my pop to the coolie to freya you know the goddess you know the norse goddess who probably made it snow in october because i did a ritual in the woods over there um you know all that stuff <laughs> i'll see you guys in a bit
Hey guys, what is up? Just as promised, we are going to be doing a ghost hunting episode today, and we are going to be investigating that theater that is right over there. If you guys can see, um, it's called the Burtness Theater. It is an uh, extremely haunted theater. Um, it has two ghosts on it, and like you all know, all uh, theaters are haunted. So, you know, we're going to be going investigating it, but right now we are going to go to the library to do some research on the ghost. I recently did an interview with somebody. He didn't want to be uh, on camera, so I couldn't get it on film. Um, he told me that there is two ghosts that haunt the upstairs and haunt the downstairs. The downstairs one is named Hannah, and the upstairs one, I forgot what he said his name was, but it was like Tom or something. Uh, we are going to go in and verify that claim um, by going upstairs to the fourth floor. I'm not sure if I'm going to be re able to record in there, but we're going to go to the fourth floor and we are going to find out some information on that ghost. So let us go and go find out some information about the ghost that haunt the Burtness Theater. And then later today at 3 a.m., I am, uh, since tomorrow is Halloween, I am going to go investigate the, the Burtness Theater catch anything any ghosts um potentially even hannah because apparently hannah is the scariest ghost so we're gonna try talking to her because you know why not we're also gonna go to another haunted place it's called starcher hall um the fourth floor i mean the second floor uh, graphic design lab is apparently haunted too by a little girl i think it might be a demonic force so you know what we're gonna go uh play with that too and go find out if we can capture it too so I hope you guys enjoy this episode and see you later. All right guys, we're almost on the fourth floor. We gotta be quiet because we're in the library. The fourth floor is right here. This is the area in there that we are gonna go. Not sure if we can film in there, so we're going to uh, be out here, but we are gonna go in and we're gonna see if we can get some information on the hauntings that are at the Burtness Theater and uh, I will uh, be back with you in a couple seconds if I can film in there. If I can't, I'll see you guys outside. All right, guys, some more on the history of this place. This place was built in 1908 as the first fraternity house on campus, Phi Delta Theta. And uh, it was a very creepy uh, hall. And uh, it was also used as a hospital um, at one point in time. And uh, yeah, like I said before, this house was built in 1908 as the first fraternity house. It was called Gustafson Hall, of course, uh, and it is now the Office of the Continuing Education Program, and currently right now it seems to be closed, although I did see a woman in the window over there, but it's closed, so I highly doubt she would let me in. Um, it would be cool if she did, though, because I would like to do a tour of the place. Um, otherwise, I'll try to get into it uh, someday, however... Uh, as of right now, you guys can see what it looks like inside, kind of, maybe, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's the house and it looks like an old fraternity house with a stair going up and everything like that. Uh, I'll try to get into it later whenever it is open. I'm not sure when it's open, but yeah, we'll try to get into it another day. Might not be able to get into it on Halloween, but that would be really cool if we could get into it on Halloween. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, we're going to be exploring the Burtness Theater later um, today around 3 a.m. And maybe we'll come around here around 3 a.m. and see if we can see anything in the windows, but we probably won't. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll try to get a tour of this place, but uh, the Burtness Theater is going to be cooler anyway because we actually might catch something there. 
Although I think that the Gustafson Hall might be a better place to catch stuff, but obviously we can't get into it. So I guess we'll find out later, guys. Otherwise, I see you guys at the Brutness Theater in a couple hours. infirmary was um, like where some of the sickest patients were in, our, in the building <clears throat> that's cool <laughs> this is so I'm feeling drawn over here like I've always felt like a connection I don't know why but like this like right when I got up here the energy level just like down there it was like nor it was happy friendly up here it's just negative they're like mean. Be the in the <laughs> <laughs> god you scared me <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Man, he writes a UND blog, so he's going through a building oh. about ghosts. Yep. <laughs> Are you going to let us read it? <laughs> what? Are you going to let us read it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you can also check it out on my uh, YouTube channel, Valraven Gaming. What is it? Valraven Gaming. Do you have a card? A card? Yeah, no. Oh. The facilities employee saw a ghost. Right here. On <clears throat> when he was here in the middle of the night uh, working, cleaning the building. Really? And so, yeah, evidently somebody appeared by the... Alright guys, so that was a video of the Gustafson Hall on the campus. I hope you guys liked it. We saw where the uh, one guy died and apparently where another ghost was found in the uh, in the hallway I'll show you guys all of that and we're going to review the video and see if we can catch any voices that we may have caught on the video that I didn't hear um, in person because if we heard any voices that would be awesome and, uh, the people there uh, said that they want to see um, the video after I post it so they will see the video after I post it and yeah so I hope you guys Writing a blog post on the UND blogs page um, about uh, this uh, the hauntings on UND. I'm gonna do some research about the uh, boy that died and everything like that. We uh, already did some research at the library about that, and we are going to uh, write that all down onto a blog. And otherwise, I hope you guys liked that. And, uh, again, I'll see you guys at the Burnus Theater. You know what guys, actually I want to add some more footage before we go to the hall um, later today at 3 a.m. So uh, we're just going to do our normal day uh, footage like uh, all the other channels do. So today we are going to, well you guys know we're going to going over to get some food at that gigantic dining center over there called Wilkerson. And we are getting the food, and you guys know what this it looks like because I'm pretty sure I have posted it before on my channel. Otherwise, but uh, we're just gonna go there anyway. 
we're gonna get some food. I'll film the food. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And then I'll see you guys at the Burnus Theater after that. Actually, you know what? Then we're gonna go back to my dorm and then we're gonna play a game and do all that other shit. And we're gonna be waiting until 3 a.m. when we go. But if you guys have not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button right now, right away. It's down there. All you have to do is click it. It's not that hard. Just click the subscribe button, click the like button, do it now. You know you want to because this video is gonna be dope. So yeah see you guys in a bit but ah oh crap hey guys so we are at walmart right now and we are vlogging because everybody vlogs at walmart i don't know why people vlog at walmart but why not vlog at walmart again um we are currently walking around and we are currently looking for a digital recorder so we could go investigate the haunted burtness theater tonight so uh you know what i'll let you guys uh no, when we find that digital recorder otherwise uh yeah i'll see you guys in about five seconds five four three two one see you guys all right so smart idea would probably be to go to the electronic section to find this digital recorder because you know it's the electronic section and that would be where a digital recorder would be so let's go there as we can see the electronic section is in the back so we are gonna go into the back and we're gonna go look for one so yeah be right back